Whales are aquatic mammals. The whale looks like a fish. But she is not a fish but a marine mammal. It is the largest animal in the world. It can measure up to 30 meters and weigh 150 tons. She lives in all the oceans of the world and likes both temperate and cold seas. It's a warm-blooded animal. She breathes air and gives birth to a single, already formed baby. Its size and shape vary from species to species. Its body ends in a caudal fin, tail, horizontally. Unlike fish with vertical tail. Its head is large, its small eyes are placed at the ends of its mouth. And its nostrils, vents, are placed backwards. Just like humans, she has a heart with four compartments. Lungs, stomach, liver, kidneys, and intestines. She has no smell, she has no ear pinna. But has an inner ear like all other mammals. Toothed or baleen whales feed on fish, squid, crustaceans, and plankton. The whale reaches sexual maturity between 5 and 15 years old. The female gives birth to a calf, the calf. Which is developing at a surprising speed. The baby will be able to grow 3 to 4 centimeters and weigh 80 kilograms more per day. It must be said that he drinks 72 to 90 kilograms of milk per day. Whaling has dramatically reduced the populations of several species. The life of a whale ranges from 60 to 90 years. Humpback whales. Among the best known of its species are the sperm whale, the white whale, the gray whale, the blue whale, the true right whale, the humpback whale and the beaked whale. Importance of baleen. Like all living things, Whales occupy a place in the food web and thus participate in the balance of the marine ecosystem. Their carcass sinks and serves as food for a host of scavenging organisms that will break it down into nutrients accessible to other organisms. Whales act as a pump that recirculates ingested fish and zooplankton deep on the surface in the form of nitrogen-rich fecal matter. These nutrients are essential for the primary production of the marine ecosystem. Whales are sentinels of the health of the marine environment. They are found in all of the world's oceans, from coastal areas to the seabed. At the top of the food pyramid, a decline or increase in their population indicates a change in their habitat. The importance of protecting whales is not just the recovery of their own population, but the survival of other species in the marine ecosystem. The study of whales has brought us many discoveries. We are still inspired by it in the development of new technologies such as boat sonar and wind turbine blades. The commercial importance of whales. Through population census programs for recovery plans, or through tourist observation activities. Whales contribute to the local economy thanks to the growing popularity of whales around the world. Human activities such as chemical and noise pollution, accidental catches in fishing gear, and collisions with boats have largely affected whale populations. Canada has the longest coast in the world. Ordered by three oceans, the marine ecosystem is part of the heritage. If humans threaten these populations, breaking the balance of the cycle, they must protect them so that future generations can in turn observe and learn from them.